Good morning, DLV. Let's kick out chicken. Whoa. <laughs> Good morning, DLV. What's kicking chickens? Good morning, DLV. What's kicking chickens? <laughs> oh, wait. Sh Danny's in this vlog. He's going to say that. Seriously, DLV. Good morning. I should probably take that what's kicking chickens out because Danny's going to say it, I'm sure, here in a little bit. But now I'm out of breath from jumping up and down and doing it too many times and it's kind of funny. So we're keeping it. In case you missed yesterday's vlog, we have awesome news. Danny was able to send us over so much footage from Bahrain. So today's vlog is gonna be all about Danny's trip over there while I, uh, you know, nap and do important things here in the house. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's go check in with Danny and see how much fun he's having. What's up guys, greetings from Bahrain. Today I have something a little bit special for you. It's not a normal vlog, but it's a compilation of a bunch of footage that I've been getting while I've been here in Bahrain. They told us not to post anything until after we have left. So I have left the city and uh, now here's uh, some of the fun stuff that I've been up to. I hope you enjoy it. This is hilarious. We flew halfway around the world and we're getting picked up in the exact same van that we toured with for years and years and years. Trav already knows how to lay in this thing. We drove up to a drive-up chicken shawarma spot, which is right across the street from a McDonald's. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The American Embassy is everywhere. We're about to pass by a street called American Alley, and you're gonna see why here in a second. It's kind of funny. Uh, this is the American Alley, they call it. Wow. <laughs> Bahrain, day one. Day, day one, day one. All right, day one. We're on base right now. Anna is our little Navy tour guide. This is nice. We just bumped into our sign. Stand here until somebody notices. <laughs> right, they look the same. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe later. Okay. We're gonna Wait, you Never mind. <laughs> We're gonna play a little game. Uh, who is not in the military in this line? It's pretty difficult to find out. It's a hard game. Give it a shot. <laughs> He's standing so uncomfortably. <laughs> it's pretty cool. There's baseball on TV while everybody eats. Kind of get that American feel while you're so far away from home. <laughs> We're at a rec center right now, hanging out with uh, some of the soldiers. This is awesome. They've got ping pong, pool, foosball, and they're all good at it. It's my kind of place. These guys are awesome. Is this on TV? <laughs> <laughs> can you can you give us a little tour of your facial hair real quick? Yes. Uh, all right. Hold on. I gotta get can close. We, can we get away from the extreme close up? <laughs> so right here we have uh, a good 29 years of work and effort, and then down here is sure a couple days. It's nice. I figured that being in the military might be cool to like do what they do. Yeah. Did you shave? Well, they have they have to shave, so you're kind of rubbing it in the face, but oh, because mine's so so thick <laughs> so and, and burly. <laughs> Just play the song. <laughs> I'm all set. I'm all set. I, I got it from here. running on the treadmill and only eating sadets.
Trent finishes his set, the first thing he says is, I gotta play the best person here in ping pong, which is a very bold move, by the way. So it's being set up. So I believe Wilson here, he's the man to beat. Yeah, for sure. When we saw Forrest come, like, these guys, they're pros at it. Come they're on. pros. I don't know if Travis stands a chance, to be honest. We'll find out. Yeah. Oh, oh boo! Rookie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! So, uh, I lost. Wilson, the champ. The champ on camera, proven the best man under this roof. Same man. He didn't represent the crew well. I know. I, I apologize, man. I tried. All right, we're gonna take a group photo. Here we go. We are straight up inside the Humvee right now. This knob right here cranks. It turns this. Yeah, absolutely. This is so sick. This is amazing. It's three Humvees. They're bringing out all these guns for us to just hold, and we're like little kids. I can take out the air conditioning. I told right now. <laughs> yeah, it's 110 degrees out. Do not take out the air conditioning. Would you like to hold? I would love to hold. Would you like to hold my cannon? Huh? <laughs> Learn about missiles. Oh, hell yeah. oh my gosh, that dot sight. And then after this, you get to climb all over it. I feel like I've been lost before and in the middle of nowhere, but this truly, truly feels like the middle of nowhere. You see that tree? This that tree? Is, uh, tree of life, yeah. is it because it's in the middle of nowhere? It's <laughs> a small version of the tree of life. He's joking. Oh, there. He's messing with us. Yeah. Oh, ball. thanks. Wow. Because we don't know, you will believe. <laughs> tree, wow, tree of life, everybody, it. don't blink. No. <laughs> Anwar is our driver, and uh, I think he's lost. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at this. Snacks thinks it looks like Mars right now, and I agree. That's a good comparison. Maybe, I think you're a year and a half, maybe. That's more than three That's not right. Okay, now we're pulling up to the real tree of life. I not think. The, not right? This is the real one? Onward, oh, are you messing with me? This is the real one? Yes, sir. This is I don't one. think he's telling the truth, but I, <laughs> I want to believe him. <laughs> this is it. I mean, it's a tree, so I don't expect more than that, but it's incredible because it's 400 years old and it just grew out of nowhere in the middle of the desert. Which is. Pretty incredible if you think about it. There's no other tree for miles. Just this one. There it is. It's pretty awesome. You hear birds? If I was a bird, this is where I'd come in the middle of the desert. DLV. Bye, tree of life. I hope you bring me prosperity. Oh God, it's too hot. I'm back in the air conditioning. Whew. Danny's in there right now, getting schooled on some, uh, some instrumentation. There's Hundo's butt. <laughs> honk the horn. <laughs> it's the big handle right between your legs. Just. We just played an awesome show. I forgot my camera to the stage, sorry about that. But uh, we were, this is like the rec center for all the soldiers, which is badass. And uh, now we're gonna head home to get some much needed sleep. The difference between the door that I just walked out of and outside is probably 35, 40 degrees. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Anwar, our driver, loves Hindi and also loves Travis's he's also voice. A, he's a Hindi pop star. Uh, I love Travis's voice. I think we should put two and two together and maybe we could enjoy both at the same time. With, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 1980s song? Classic. Are you trying to change it on me? It's me and you and my dog too 
and we can do anything that we want to do. Do 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 me so cake. Do 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 do. Since everybody is sleeping, uh, JJ and I have our little guide here, Mick. Say hi, Mick. Hi. He's, uh, he's taking us to a mosque. How about that? I don't know what the policy is. I, I think I'm allowed to film inside, but I can't film women or kind of like directly photograph women. So I'm trying to be respectful. I haven't tucked in my shirt. JJ That's wore shorts. <laughs> Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. They, um, they asked us to take off our shoes, understandably, because look how beautiful it stays when you do that. And what is your name, sir? Majid. Majid. This, he will be our tour, tour guide, guide for today. <laughs> yes. Let's start this. Look at the size of this door. It's uh, 6,000 pounds because it's teak wood, which is like crazy heavy wood. It's crazy. And now we're in the more popular part today, the carpeted air conditioning section of the mosque. Majid said, Thanks for the American contribution to the building, which is the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very important too. Very important, right? Because we cannot keep 5,000 people here while it's 140 degrees out there. Yeah, so, yeah. I believe you. I, I had my AC break one time in Florida. And, woo! It's a bird. Is it a bird? And it reads like this? Yes. So this is Daniel. Daniel, excuse me. Just finished up the tour. Majed was the man. He was super nice, super accommodating to all of our questions. And that was cool. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And as a little lesson to everybody else, I would say if you ever have the chance to culture yourself, you should 100% do it. Learn something, experience something. By the way, it's Ramadan right now, which means they fast for 30 days from sunrise to sunset. So they don't drink any food or they don't drink any drinks or eat any food. Drink food? And they don't drink food. But at night they'll, they'll eat and then they have like a pre-sunrise meal as well, I believe. Very interesting. We are meeting the post guard uh, for the night. They're about to go on shift. Trav's gonna play a song real quick. Here it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for new stuff, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Well, it has been another successful day, but I am going to go to bed. Mies, bedtime. We had an awesome day of Danny today. I loved it. And it's going to be a couple more days until we hear from him again. Once he's in Africa, he's pretty much SOL as far as being able to contact us. So, it's back to the Lindsay uncensored all day, all the time. Your viewing pleasure. All Lindsay. And you can decide if that's awesome or not. I think it is. <laughs> Although I would rather have my boyfriend here with me, my partner in crime. Miss him like crazy. So I'm gonna go sleep because every time I sleep, it's like a couple hours or so closer to him being home. As always, giant inflatable flamingos. I bought one today. Yay! <laughs> See you guys soon. Bye!